So I'm going to be showing you guys four different exercises for each area of your stomach. You guys can break these exercises down however you feel comfortable. So you could do reps and sets, you could do timed. I do a little bit of both depending on how I'm feeling, what I'm in the mood for, and sometimes I even just go based off of straight up fatigue. I'll just blast it out until I can't go anymore, okay? That's always an option too, just saying. So let's go. Upper abs, here we go. Okay, absolute favorite right here for upper abs. This, this is my go-to, ready? Toe touches. You could do alternating toe touches or just straight up toe touches. Here we go. Okay, so this next one is called a tuck and crunch. It's kind of like a similar crunch, but you're gonna keep your legs completely still and elevated. This way, all of the crunch is coming straight from your upper abs. Here we go. Okay guys, next exercise is called the long arm crunch. You're gonna keep your arms right above your shoulders like this, straight. You're going to go into a crunch. You're gonna need something to weight down your feet, so you can use a couch. Okay, like so, yeah. Or heavy dumbbells, or if you have a workout partner too, that works. What's gonna happen here is you're gonna feel the tension right at your upper abs because you have the gravity of your hands right here, your arms, weighing your upper abs down. So you're gonna be feeling that pull. <sighs> Woo! I'm tired already. <laughs> All right guys, the last exercise for upper abs is pretty much what we just did, except you're going to Hold it. It's going to be a static exercise. This is where it's going to count. This is what's going to make you extremely sore. Static exercises are so important to incorporate into any exercise regimen because essentially your muscles are engaged at all times, no let up. So that's where you're really going to feel that soreness. Lactic acid gets released. You're really going to feel it. So let's do this. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Woo! Okay, upper abs are complete. There's so many exercises when it comes to lower abs, so here's the four that I like to do, starting with leg raises. Okay, so you're gonna bring your feet up to a 90 degree angle and go slow on the come down. You wanna control that negative because that is where you are going to get those results. Believe it. Here we go, laying flat on the ground. Don't let those feet touch the ground. And as with any exercise, as you can see, you always have to breathe very consistently. Do not hold your breath. Although your body like automatically tenses up when it's engaging muscle groups, you're gonna automatically kind of stop without realizing it. It's not good. You gotta get that oxygen to your muscles. So always remember to just keep deep breaths. Okay guys, next exercise are scissor kicks. Some people call them scissors. You're basically doing flutter kicks, but they're emphasized. You kind of come up all the way and it's really good for your hip flexors. So right here, you're basically just engaging a longer range of motion. So it's really good to incorporate. Here we go. Okay guys, so mountain climbers. If you're new to this exercise, definitely take it slow. Um, if you're advanced, you could definitely incorporate this in a HIIT type of workout. But um, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna go slow, show you guys how to do it. You're gonna start in a push-up position and basically bring your knees in, very simple.
All right, guys, last exercise for lower abs, very similar to what we just showed, except it's six inches. All right, this is a game changer. You're just elevating your feet six inches and keeping it there again with the static workouts. Woo, girl, go feel this one. are one of my favorites to work out. There's just so many options, a lot of different exercises you could do. So here's four, obviously no weights or exercise equipment. Here we go. First and foremost is the Russian twist, seated Russian twist. Okay, so it's important to keep your back straight, feet a little bit elevated, and you're just going to twist. I like to just keep my hands together. You can use a weight for this, that's really good, but no weight here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay guys, so the next oblique exercise, this one's my favorite for obliques. Hands down, the twist crunch. Lay flat, put your foot over your knee, and you're just going to touch your elbow to your knee. You don't have to actually touch it. Come close enough, all right? That's all you gotta worry about. Okay guys, staying in this position, next up is dead bug. Absolutely love this one, okay? So you're going to keep one arm straight back behind your head and you're gonna lift with the opposite leg to kind of touch like that. Okay guys, last but not least, for obliques. You already know from the trend of this video that I gotta add in another static workout. So we're going to be doing some side planks. All right, legs straight out. You want your elbow at a 90 degree angle and parallel with you. You don't want it too far up this way and too far down. You're just gonna get lopsided, nobody likes that. So here we go, let's do this. Alright guys, abs are on fire right now. 